All right. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, this is uh, Dr. Garayas. I'm your host for Bio 117, and um, this is for laboratory medical terminology. We didn't have time yesterday um, to go over. There was a medical terminology um, like like a final um, like presentation uh, that can help you study for uh, next week's uh, final exam. Remember next week, uh, you know, week five on the Wednesday, um, and I believe it's uh, July 20th, um, we'll have checkoffs first like we always do, and then probably we should finish up checkoffs probably by 10 a.m. And then 10 a.m. Uh, we do our final. And uh, final is cumulative, 50 items, multiple choice. It'll be a lot of diagrams. Majority of it will be diagrams. We'll be focusing on week three and four, but I can hit up some week one and two. And um, any medical terminology from weeks one through four for Bio 117 laboratory is fair game. Um, if you look here in your modules, there is a uh, unit for medical terminology lecture. And when you open that thing up, there's a nice PowerPoint in it and it gives a summary of, uh, of you know, the, um, what am I trying to say? Um, you know, um, um, all the chapters and with, um, you know, um, with um, all the chapters, um, but with like a listing of, you know, common terms. So let's go through this. Um, these are um, not additional medical terms, but medical terms that were included in previous lists, and it's kind of like a summary. So adrenal glands, of course, when we break it down, adrenal, okay? And um, I'm gonna use my little pen tool here. If we break things down, oopsies. And I want to use a pen. We break things down, of course, ad, mean, al, al pertaining to, ad, which is above or on top of, ren, which is your kidney. So it's, of course, an endocrine gland. Antibiotic, ic pertaining to, Anti. Anti is the prefix that means against, against bio or life. And that's what an antibiotic does. It's uh, it's against, it's a drugs that are against the life of um, bacteria. Now you notice the word bacteria, it's the plural. Bacterium, U-M, structure of, that's the singular. Antigen, we already know. Anti means against, something that generates, uh, you know, against or, or some sort of fight. So if you recall, the antigen is actually the, the, um, the glycoprotein coat on top of bacteria, viruses, or any foreign body that will start the trouble. You know, will start the, and by trouble, I mean agglutination and the immune process. Bradycardia, slow heartbeat, and the exact opposite of a slow heartbeat is tachycardia. Eucardia, EU, we already know, uh, means uh, normal or normal cardiac. Something that's congenital. Let's look at this word. Con, genit, al. Al pertaining to con or with. Genito is, um, is just like um, nate or natology is birth. So something that goes wrong with birth. So a congenital anomaly is uh, uh, something that's um, an irregularity. And we kind of kind of know that by irregularity, we mean potential pathology because it has the um, root here, mal, okay? Or an anom, which is also, you could break that down that way, which is something a nom, you can't really name it. It's something that's kind of weird or out of the norm. And norm, normal, al pertaining to norm, which is the rule. Dialysis, lysis, dia, complete or thorough, removal of waste products. 
And the Fresnes machine, of course, we talked about is the artificial kidney machine. Ectopic pregnancy. Ick pertaining to, ek out of. So tope means area or region. Um, so ectopic means pertaining to, out of the proper region of uh, pregnancy. And the only region should be the upper anterior portion of the body of your uterus. That's the normal implantation. Anywhere else, that's bad news. Parathyroid glands, it's the th uh, gland that's alongside the thyroid. So para means something that's along the side of. Um, the only example I think of is like paramilitary. So if there's a paramilitary group, it's not the military. It's not the official military. It's something alongside of it. Uh, prolapse, pro means before. And we talked about prolapse uh, regarding, um, you know, multigravid mommy has a lot of babies, you know, somebody who's like G6, P6, and um, um, they'll have a herniation or, um, you know, um, uh, of their vaginal canal or their rectum, and you'll have rectal prolapse or vaginal prolapse, also known as a recto seal um, or a culpo seal if it's vaginal. Retroperitoneal, we know that. That means retro is the prefix that means uh, behind, so pertaining to behind the peritoneum. Syndrome, drome means to run. Sin means same. So like syndrome, like in AIDS, um, all these symptoms run along the same pathology, which is, of course, um, the HIV virus or HI virus. V already stands for virus. Subcutaneous, we know, is sub is the prefix under, us pertaining to, pertaining to underneath the skin. So that's the um, fatty layer we already know and love from previous chapters. We already saw tachycardia, transurethral. Al pertaining to your uh, across the uh, urethra. So if you do a TERP, which is a transurethral resection of the prostate, I have to go through that poor patient's urethra. So um, the urethral orifice of the hole um, that's on the top of the glans penis, I got to go through that. And that's called a TERP, transurethral resection of the prostate. Um, ultrasonography, ultra means above. So these are sound waves that are above the length of hearing. And that's ultra. Right. And graph, graphy is the process of, remember, grapher, E-R, is the person uh, who's going to perform the ultrasound. And sono, of course, means sound. And um, um, grapher, uh, graphy, grapher, and graph alone is what? The actual machine or the actual printout. Medical scramble, nice to know. They also talk about uh, briefly, um, like, and, and this is a nice thing to add on to our logi, anesthesiology, of course. Now, if you look at the word anesthesia, ia, or in this case, logi, and you have the separation of the connecting vowel. And means no or not. Esthesi means to feel. So when you have an anesthetic, that means I'm giving you medication that will do what? Prevent you from feeling things and or, or, or having sensation. And um, it's a good thing because you want to feel uh, any of the knife opening you up when you are having surgery. Dermatology, of course, easy emergency medicine or EMED. Nice to know. Family practice. Uh, family practice is primary care. And it's really important because it's like the basic, basic stuff. Me, I'm from internal medicine. And um, we deal with, of course, like internal things that in theory shouldn't, should not require non-surgical. Or we're the first line of defense that has to do the medical treatment uh, first. Um, but again, if it gets too complex, um, 
or requires for us to take something out or to modify anatomy, then of course that's the Department of Surgery. Anyone, any MD that deals with the eye disorders? Now, ophthalmology is not to be confused with, and oh, by the way, that's how you spell it, O-P-H-T-H. -H. It's one of those things like Wednesday. Um, in my head, I always say op, ophthalmology just to remember it. But ophthalmology, they're the MDs who, um, you know, diagnose and treat your eye disorders. They also do um, um, surgical stuff with your eye. They are not to be confused with the um, optician and the optometrist. Now, the optometrist, of course, meter, they measure your eyes because um, not only uh, um, the, the, you know, the lens, so the optometrist, they're the people who, you know, work with the ophthalmologist. The ophthalmologist writes up, okay, this is this is the prescription. The op uh, goes the um, optometrist. They're the ones who build your glasses and fill that prescription. And um, um, the optician, of course, um, there's the technician who does the tests and stuff in the ophthalmology office. Pathology, we already know and love dearly. Pediatric psychiatry, psych. Remember psych. Think what? Mind. So thought processes. So psychosis is an abnormal condition of what? Your psyche, your mind, or your thought process, right? So if someone's psychotic, psychosis, that means they have an abnormal condition. That means they're not with us. Um, they're in their own little universe, right? Now, um, I think I mentioned this before, but uh, it, it, it it bears reminding. Psychiatry and psychology have their place. For example, if someone's full-blown psychotic and uh, wielding a machete and um, not wearing any pants in the mall, then that person needs what? Meds. And that person is a danger to self and others. And um, that's where psychiatry can step, step in. But if you need like counseling, and you guys know um, I'm, I'm going to be a, a mini commercial right now, use your WellConnect. It's free. Have uh, it goes talk to somebody other than a family member or friend, um, and so that you can work on your you know um, self maintenance. Um, um, I was talking to a colleague last night and um, talking about how that's so important with not only students but staff as well. How uh, you know um, uh, we need to we need to always maintain yourself just like you would maintain your car you maintain your home, you should maintain your own self and your own mind. And psychology can help you do that. Um, and I'm one now to admit, um, I used to have a stigma about like um, therapy and, and talking to people, but um, 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 the psychologist that I see from time to time, especially when times are rough as an adult, um, she does wonders for me. Radiology, low G study of radiation, right? That's x-rays. Um, radiology can be at times called um, diagnostic medicine. Surgery, of course, surge. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. I was ramping that up for the last couple of minutes. Allergology or an allergist, of course, they are subspecialties. Cardiologists, subspecialty. Geriatrics or geriatrician, subspecialty for old age. Um, these people either were internal medicine or family med. Um, oncology is, of course, onc is the study of tumors. And remember, a tumor just means lump or bump. But if it's a carcinoma, then it could be either malignant or benign. And mal, right, bad, that means it grows very fast and can metastasize or move very fast. Um, but benign tends to, you know, sit, hang around. That's why if you want to be diagnosed with cancer, you'd rather have a benign cancer. Now, radi radiation therapy and radiation oncology. Remember, I mentioned in several lectures that uh, the, the three ways that we treat um, tumors, especially malignant tumors, we um, do surgery and then we do um, radiotherapy, which is we blast it with high energy radiation. Um, and then, of course, chemotherapy, which deals with chemicals or medications to kill the um, to kill the tumor, to kill the cancer. Urology, of course, the urinary tract, and they're very good with male reproductive system. And remember, the urogynecologist can now see what both male and female.
Cardio, colon, con. I, I believe we learned all of these before, but there's a nice review. STZ, for anesthesiologist. Hemat blood, so the Department of Hematology deals with what? Blood and, and blood banking. Now, iatro. Um, iatrogenic, uh, um, iatro means pertaining to the, the treatment itself. So, for example, could you have iatrogenic side effects? Can the treatment be giving you, or iatropathology, can a treatment make you sicker? Yes, and the classic is what? Chemotherapy. In order for me to kill the tumor, the medication is going to do a number on you physically, and that's uh, and, and and those signs and symptoms are called iatrogenic. Laryngeal, lympho, nephro, neuro, good to know. You know those already. Nosocomial. Now, uh, remember we mentioned nosocomial infections. Nosocomial infections uh, are infections that. That's why we try to get you out of the hospital within three days, uh, because within three days you're going to get a low grade fever and odds are you're going to get some sort of infection. So like a nosocomial infection is like a hospital based infection and not necessarily with disease. It's it's because of the very fact that you're in the hospital. Obstetrics and odonto, like remember the orthodontist, they straighten out your teeth. They don't do teeth things. They 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 deal with the alignment of your teeth. Hence the term ortho. Ortho means to straighten a donto tooth. Onco, we already went over. Ophthalmo, we already went over. Opto, optician, went over. Ortho. Now, orthopedics, to straighten out your peds, your feet. But orthopedics is the surgical service that straightens out, you know, um, deals with your musculoskeletal system. And they usually deal with you surgically. Hence, it is a surgical service. Auto is ears, so otitis, inflammation or infection of your ears, or maybe you went to the department of ENT, which is ears, nose and throat, which is auto rhino laryngology. Say that eight times fast. Pedio pediatrics, or um, that horrible word, pedophile. File means loving, so that person is well. Um, is a sick person who um, is uh, um, um, desires sexually uh, a child. Psycho, we were in a room over pulmo, radio, think x rays, think radiation, rectum, um, structure of, recto, right? So if my patient has anorectal cancer, they not only have cancer in the rectum, they also have cancer of the anus as well. Rheumatoid, think the, the fluid, the synovial fluid. So rheumatoid, oid means resembling. So the bad fluid that's in my knee now causing me some trouble resembles the synovial fluid, but is not really. Rhino, uh, thoraco, chest, so cardiothoracic surgery, does stuff on the heart on, or anything in the thoraco or thoracic region, which is your chest. Neurovascular, vasculo, so vascular surgery, think what? Anything to do with blood vessels, arteries, veins, capillaries. Here's some lovely words per specialty. Um, angina, anticoagulant, diuretic, hypertension, ischemia, antiarrhythmic, or arrhythmic. Dysmenorrhea is dis, um, let's break it down. Abnormal condition of your menstrual cycle and it's um, an abnormal uh, hemorrhage bleeding so the classic example i had a, I had a patient um i asked her so how many pads per day and she went 14 and i go how many days sometimes a week that's what that's dysmenorrhea that's too much or it could be pain hysterectomy ready to run over lyomyoma oma is a tumor lyomyo is a your smooth muscle so you can have um, a very common lyomyoma is in your uterus. Menorrhagia, of course, monthly. Uh, um, that's when they, it's like a form of dysmenorrhea. That means they're bleeding too much. So that patient has had 12, 13 pads per day uh, during a one week menstrual cycle, menstrual phase of her cycle, a little bit much. Fibroid. 
Remember the suffix oid means resembling. It looks like fibers, but it isn't really. Something else. Orthopedics, callus, nice to know, femur, fibula, fixation, fracture. Um, it's nice to know. Mediastinal, posterior, know your uh, directions. Nice to know. You can ask a direction questions. Okay, that's about it. And again, like you saw, it was like a nice quick review. Also, um, um, look at, um, you know, your other notes that I'll put down. And uh, good luck, guys. Ace everything. It's the final push. I'll see you in class.